Hey guys, it's Kurz, and today we're going to be teaching you how to use the AmiPad wireless controller. The game I'm going to be teaching you how to load it up on is Breath of the Wild. So we are going to be showing you how to load up Amiibos into the sweet, sweet world of Zelda. Let me just run along and do that. Uh, get somewhere that we can safely load up amiibos. Right, so we're going to load in firstly just a weapon amiibo just to show you how that works. We're going to load in with the red LED. So to change this to the red one, this color, we're going to press and hold T and we're going to press minus and we're going to flick through while holding T and pressing minus, we're gonna flick through until we get to the color that we want. And then to change this bottom light configuration down here, we're gonna press T again, this button here. We're gonna hold down this T and we're gonna press this plus. And while holding down the T and pressing the plus, as you can see, it's gonna change the bottom light configuration. So we wanna be on the first and the fourth light. It's just gonna flick through and do that. Super easy. And then to set it, we're going to be holding T and pressing the right stick to the right. So to do that, hold T, hold down T, press the right stick to the right. It's going to flash. And now we have set our controller. Then we're going to go to the Amiibo selection. And we have a drop. Oh, okay, so we got a shield. Very nice, very nice. So I'm going to show you another drop, just something that's super, super cool. And uh, just another explanation of how to load in amiibos. So for the next one, we are going to go and we're going to get it on red again. But I'm just going to show you how to change this back. So we're going to press and hold T, this one here. And we're going to press the minus button up here. Again, that's going to change the light. It's super simple. Until we get all the way back to red. Okay, and then to change these bottom lights down here, we're gonna then again hold the T, press the plus, and that will change the bottom light configuration for us. So we wanna be on the first and the third. And then we're gonna set it with the left stick down. So just holding T and pressing the left stick down. And then we're gonna go onto our amiibo, find a place to drop it. Eventually it will just drop in. And as you can see, we've amiiboed a horse into the world of Zelda. <laughs> this horse is actually the real opponent. Um, check the shorts to see what happens if uh, you register her. Okay, so we'll do one more amiibo drop just to show you guys how that really works. Another really cool one on here as well. So we'll do the red LED. Which we're not going to change this time because I feel we'll use it. you guys have got the gist of it. Just pressing T and through the minus and you get there. And then we're going to do uh, for this light configuration down here. We want the first and a fourth. So pressing T. And then to set it we're going to use the right stick to the right. <laughs> Hopefully this is what I planned for. There we go, guys. So we got Wolf Lincoln as an amiibo. Just simply with this controller. I highly recommend getting yourself this controller. Especially as a Twilight Princess Maniac fan. I am super impressed with this. I'm definitely going to have to be doing... Oh, guys, did you see that? He just took it out for me. Very smooth. Thank you, Wolf Link. Doing a video on my favorite amiibos in Zelda and Animal Crossing, probably. Uh, super excited to do the Zelda ones because some of them are just incredible. Between the real opponent and Wolf Link, you know, I think that's a great start to show off. <laughs> Hopefully, this uh, video has been informative. Hopefully, it's been helpful if you needed to learn how to use it. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. It's been Curse.